you guys? This is HGJ Halloween and today I am back with yet again another Home Depot unboxing and I am so excited to be bringing to you guys the, what is the name of this thing? The Animated Haunting Ghost Bride. This is one of the four props that I ordered from Home Depot this year to bring to you guys on the channel and it should be the third one that you are seeing so far this season. I hope you are doing great so far this Halloween season. And this Haunting Bride is actually super cool and it's only $99.99, I believe. So certainly huge shout out to Home Depot if you wanna purchase this bride. She is up on the website or at your local Home Depot for only 99 bucks. So I would definitely recommend this bride and the Inferno Scarecrow for those of you that are shopping for Halloween with a little bit more of a budget. So anyways, I'm gonna get into opening this girl, but before I do, I do just wanna shout out my Patreon. My Patreon is where you can find exclusive prop reviews of all of the props that I bring to the channel this season, as well as tours of stores other than Spirit Halloween and just all sorts of other stores and hopefully some Party City props in the future as well. You'll also be able to message me directly with guaranteed responses daily. So that is all the option, all the exclusive um, fun stuff available over on Patreon. Link is down in the description. Um, and don't forget to check out my music as well. A Halloween song is coming soon. So I do want to shout out my Spotify link to that is down in the description as well. But without further ado, we're going to get to unboxing this prop. I'm so glad that they actually shipped it to me with the designs on the box. Um, because the first one I did, my three face gesture did not have anything on the box. And it was kind of just sad to look at, but this one came with that purple Home Depot Halloween box, Home Accents Holiday. Um, and as you can see, this is the Haunting Ghost Bride. She rises and sways side to side. I don't know if she really rises, but we'll see how that goes. Sound activated, spooky sound effects. She is compatible with the six volt two amp DC adapter, but that is not included. Uh, and the AA batteries are also not included. So that was the same thing for the Inferno Scarecrow. You do have to either have an adapter on hand from another prop that you have or just use four AA's. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get to opening this one up. I have a feeling it's not gonna be too difficult to set up, and you guys know that I certainly love spooky possession type of props. This prop is, of course, a haunted bride. She is kind of a possessed mixed with almost like a doll creature, so very interesting, um, you know, type of prop here, and I'm not exactly sure what company it's made by, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. All right, this is what is in there as soon as you open it up. And I think I'm gonna have to slide all of this out. So I'll show you guys that and we'll see her face and everything. But here are the instructions. And I think this is looking like another techie one for the 2021 season. And I've gotta say Techie Toys has really been giving some awesome stuff this year. And they've been spreading out their inventory to a bunch of different stores. We've got some awesome ones at Spirit, some awesome ones at Home Depot. And I'm not sure about Party City, but I'm sure there's some there too. Uh, I'm not seeing the Techie Toys. Oh, see, look, it is Techie Toys. So you kind of always know when it's got that six volt, two amp DC adapter situation, as well as the cartoon um, instructions. Techie is still not upgraded to real pictures, but you know what, it's all right. So anyways, let's get into setting this girl up. But before we do, I do have to drag this all out. And I want to bring the camera down closer here to show you guys that. All right, so I've got you guys on a nice bird's eye view here. I hope it gives you a really good angle as we slide this bride out of the box. And I see that she is right on top here. So she's covered up by this base, but I think right beneath that is her face. And wow, it looks actually even cooler in person than it does on these pictures. Techie Toys has really been giving us some great characters for this season. They've really been giving us a range of, you know, like ones like Mr. Dark, ones like this possessed girl, the Inferno Scarecrow. I mean, they have really come back in to full swing this year. Take a look at this, guys. Like I said, it's only $99, so I do have to recommend it for those of you that want a nice creepy possessed prop for cheaper. So that is her full body right here. Um, she actually is holding a bouquet of black flowers, so she is a bride, but she sure looks like she's going to a funeral with this outfit. Now on the back here, you can see there is some twist ties that I'm gonna go ahead and undo off camera and come back to show you guys all of the parts. Done. We can remove this cardboard 
and get the rest of the stuff out here. So first of all, I did kind of throw this off to the side, but we have the base with a nice fabric cover to kind of hide it wherever you are placing it in your haunt this year or in your display. Here is her main mechanism. Uh, this is also some sort of fabric piece with, it almost feels like another base inside of it. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but there is more metal in here. Um, take a look at this. This is quite the complex situation. There's a couple more metal poles inside this fabric thing here, right here. Looks a little bit more complicated than I was anticipating. Here is her main mechanism piece. She's got that side to side swinging motion, of course. And then we've also got her body right here. So, I definitely love, 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 love the look of this face design. There's actually a little bit of red on her flower dress here. I didn't really realize that was what it looked like, but I just wanna give you guys a close up angle of this creepy decrepit face. Take a look at this. Have it coming in from the side here. She is not looking too happy on her wedding day, guys. It definitely is kind of giving a cracked doll vibe as well as a possessed demon bride. And I believe she has red light up eyes, which I think is a really good touch. So without further ado, let's get started on her setup. So we've got our base set up right here. And what's interesting about this prop is that we actually are putting the module right on to the base. So I've never really done any sort of prop like this before where the control box is all the way down at the bottom here, but Techie Toys always gives us the very easy to uh, follow and hard to mess up um, letters. So we know we have to match A to A. And then moving on, we have another piece that goes on top of this. So our next piece here is of course going to match B to B, and it is going to snap onto either end of our lower frame, as they call it here. And there we go. So this is where it's starting to get a little bit tricky. It's telling me to slide this pole through that little notch up at the top there, but it's supposed to have a label on it that I think it is missing. But I think we'll be able to use these letterings to pretty much figure it out here. I believe this pole has to slide through this before then attaching it to the other pole labeled C. We shouldn't be able to go wrong as long as we're matching up the right letters. So that is that. And now this is a very odd step, but we have to take the spring that's located at the bottom of the, the pole we've created here and match yellow to yellow and attach it to this little hook here. So I think that spring is gonna give us a lot of the motion action that we're gonna see on this prop. Now flipping this around here, we also have to match another spring which is supposed to be blue. And I see it right here on the other side. So lots of spring action going on here. And this one matches down to the blue notch. So definitely nice that they label those springs out with different colors so you can't get them confused. All right, now we're gonna grab that initial fabric piece that I was wondering what exactly it's for. It's pretty much just going to slide over top of all of this mechanism stuff here. And I'm not exactly sure why this is necessary, but maybe to just provide some extra coverage when we start getting this prop going. There is a little hole at the top here for our uh, pole to stick out. And then I think down at the bottom, we've got some Velcro strips. I don't know if you guys can see all the way down here, but there are some Velcro strips that clearly match up to the Velcro strips on the base. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get those done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and snap on what they call the center body pole to our other pole over here, matching D to D. The labels are on the back, but we're gonna go ahead and lock those locking pins into place. I think it's actually even more terrifying in person than I thought it was going to be based on the photos. It is just a really awesome prop. I would have certainly loved to have seen this in one of Spirit Halloween's themes this year, because you know these type of props are right up my alley. They happen to get a different bride, um, but let's go ahead and get this put on top here. So um, if you're having trouble following along with this setup, don't forget to check out my instructional setup, which will be out very, very soon. Um, 
but I can see that there is a hole underneath of her here. And let's get this on top. Just a wire that I don't want to get caught on anything here. Hopefully you guys are seeing this from a good angle. Got the HTJ in the back. And it is on, but I'm not feeling it snap in. All right, I actually had her oriented the wrong way initially, but take a look at this, guys. I gotta get the dress pulled down, of course, but she is actually very tall. I think she stands at a towering six feet, and she certainly is up to my height. This is such an incredible prop. We do have a couple more things before we can finish up and get her plugged in. So actually, I think all this left to do is come underneath of the bottom of the dress here and connect the sensor wire that is coming from, or it might not even be a sensor. I'm not really sure what it is. There's just a wire coming from her head. It might be for the lights and in the eyes. And here is the wire uh, that it needs to connect into. So where's the other one? And I will just double check here, but I believe that we are ready to either insert some batteries or plug her in and give her a test run. All right, guys, I got her, I got her batteries in. She kind of already went off, but check this out. She is actually rising off of the ground, which I did not expect. Holy crap, guys, this is actually amazing. <laughs> See how it actually comes up off the ground? It almost like spins around and I don't even know what is going on. Oh, whoa, she stopped all the way up here, guys. Alrighty, guys, so I am actually pleasantly surprised with how much animation this thing has. When I ordered these Home Depot props, I didn't really look into them deeply. I kind of just clicked on the picture, looked at the video real quick, and just ordered the ones that I thought looked the coolest. But this one was one of the ones that has definitely pleasantly surprised me because the animation not only features the side-to-side -side motion, but when it says it rises up, they were not lying. It really does start to rise up off the ground and it has quite the complex animation going on. So I think this is one of the top notch ones from Home Depot this season. I don't know if it's been around for more years than one. I know some of them have been, and I'm just not really accustomed to the Home Depot lineups in past years. Let me know if you have seen this girl in previous years or if she is new for 2021, but definitely have to hand it to Techie Toys for creating yet again, another top notch Halloween animatronic. Definitely highly recommend this girl. She is only $99, so for those of you that are on a budget but want a cool prop i have nothing but praise to give this if you do want to see though my one to five star review of this uh animatronic then please be sure to check out patreon which will be linked down in the description and of course stay tuned for more halloween videos all right guys thank you all so so much for watching today's video and i will see you in the next one